Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my Hitman 2 professional difficulty suit only silent assassin run. This is going to be a complimentary, almost brotherly run to the previous one that I did on Master, where I'm going to be coming back across the levels and doing some strategies that are perhaps a little bit more viable and easier to do than some of the ridiculous stuff I was doing before. It also gives me an excuse to try some new things and do some silly stuff. So the first of that is uh, I decided to try and plant a mine near where the truck spawns to see if I could set it off without shooting it. And I end up putting the mine in the wrong spot. So this is something that I'm definitely going to look into uh, experimenting with to see if I can do something with it. But I noticed there's a ridiculous invisible wall on the beach there for no good reason and I can't figure out exactly why it is. However, guys, if you're looking for a concise and quick method on this level, don't do what I did just then. Just run towards this section now. I was tempted to re-record it, but I feel like sometimes when you have something weird in a video, it can give it a little bit of character. But I'm going to shoot this first camera just because I get experience for doing it, and uh, I like the idea of getting those sexy points. So there's your 25 points for shooting the camera. I'm then going to proceed to get the secret key, which is a challenge. It's just in this vase over here. I think I'm going to miss it. Oh no, I hit it. There's the key, that's going to open the front door. And I was experimenting with doing accidents on this level. Uh, I ended up electrocuting the woman, I ended up doing uh, a few other accidents which I thought were quite cool. But in the end, uh, I think I wanted to drown her in the toilet just because it was something different. The strategy coming up is one of the ones that a lot of the speedrunners use, which is a, a fairly well-known distraction method that lets you attack her quite quickly. You can use the wire, you can use a, vari a variety of other things, but instead I'm going to be using the emetic shringe that you get for playing this level a little bit. And it's just right here, so if you shoot as they're entering the room, it will distract the bodyguard, and then the other person that clings to the target will walk past you if you wait, and then your target has her back to you. So you can just stand behind her here, wait for the right moment, and then take her out. But instead, I inject her with the syringe, which is going to make her need to go to the toilet, and then I'm going to wait in the side room. In this room here, you can actually enter the bathroom through a door to my right, but I was just kind of freestyling at this moment, because you're not in any threat of being spotted when you do this. I shut the door, and then we can come over here and uh, force her head into the toilet, doing something a little bit different than last time. And just really masochistic. We're also wearing the standard suit that you use when you first play this mission. So that's a little bit different than last time. And then I'm going to drag her into the adjacent bedroom, stick her in a cupboard, and then we're going to start leaving. This mission is easily the, the, the swiftest and potentially the easiest mission in the game. Because there's only one target, and it's very easy to, to poison her, to poison her drink, to get her while she's waiting, to do all the host of different things. Hopefully I'm going to figure out some silly things to do. Uh, right now is the moment when I realised that I'd messed up because I didn't even have the detonator which tells me I'm assuming one of the guards found the mine, picked it up and took it so it doesn't let you detonate it because it ceases to exist in that moment. But the grass in this game is so powerful that you can do a lot of crazy things with it. Being concealed is easily the strongest new feature that you have in your arsenal and especially on professional when the enemies and their sensors are a little bit better on the increased difficulty, so there's stuff that you can do now that you probably can't do too well on Master. One thing I find is it's their vision that seems to be better, and their reaction to making noises. It doesn't seem to just be better universally. So for instance just then, when I ran past that guard, if you're crouched when you do that, it will still work on Master because it doesn't seem like their hearing is all that much better. It's just better when you shoot your gun and, and things of that nature to try and catch you out. But if you shoot the explosive and you come down onto the beach, you can follow this this kind of line of, of the tide towards the boat, and those guys to your left will never react to you, which is really, really nice. If you get unfortunate, there's times when one of their AIs will bug out and they won't do the programmed thing they're supposed to do here. You'll see that in my master videos if you're interested in seeing it. It happens, it's just the game being wonky. But there we go. Something a little bit different. There is the five stars, Silent Assassin, four minutes and then I'll show you the accolades at the end. The next mission coming up guys, I'm going to be using nothing but the sniper rifle. I'm going to be sniping both targets, so look forward to that. Thank you for watching, and you take care now.